did you feel as if signing with Clive was um, because he, he he seems to have a way of um, taking female artists to um, you know really taking them to the, to the next level? How did you feel about him particularly coming to you and saying he wanted to bring you on his no, label? I, I just wasn't concerned with any of that because I was always super confident in my work, so. I didn't need Clive to validate me. It made me feel good that he appreciated no more rain in this cloud and wanted to get involved. But I, I didn't need him to validate who I was. It just made me feel good that he actually appreciated the music. Yeah. Did, did, were you allowed to do the music yourself? I mean, what I mean is that he, they yes, went... Yes, oh. I did all my music myself. Clive actually entrusted me to do a lot for myself and others. Now, now, now that is very rare because the, you know most exec labels are looking at well commercial, but no, not him. Anybody that he felt that could gain something from me, he would encourage. It. Yeah, the um, but but, but when um, Black Diamond came out, um, did you the the success of it um, and and the impact did it catch you by surprise? Yes, of course, because nobody thinks their record is going to come out and do that well. I didn't know I was just another fly on the wall that, you know, and it happened. Yeah. The, um, because, yeah, as I said, because they, the, one of the things that, that both yourself um, and, as I said, we got from D'Angelo was that sort of usher, usher of um, allowing us to go back to Seoul. And I, I know Kadar came up with Neil Soul, but it was it was it was stripped back R and B. Um so we had yourself, we had Erica Badu, Jill Scott came along later on. Um and, and why so, you say Kidar came out with Neil Soul? Who told you that? Well he he, he says he, he actually tried to copyright it. <laughs> he tried to copyright the name Neil Soul and uh, because he said he invented he invented the name um Kidar. And you believed him. No, no, this is no, this is something that was on if you if you if you search for it, <laughs> if you search for it, you you see that he tried to copyright it, that he says he came up with he coined the phrase Neo Soul. Um and 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 that was oh. what he tried to do at Motown at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah people, everybody wants to be a star, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he he because he he started. I, I, as I said, we were consumers and we were fans. We just well, you know, when people used to ask me what does that mean, I used to laugh because I never knew what it means. So I gave it my my own rendition. I took those letters and I called it "New Era of Okay Music." Wow. That's the only thing that Neo meant to me. It was a new era of music. Okay. Okay. And it and it definitely was. And it, it was something that you know, as I said, we, we well, but that as, was my that was my definition. But who had nobody asked me other than, you know, not about uh, you know, where did it come from because I would have told him I didn't know. But I, I did tell him I don't I didn't care for it that much. I didn't it didn't make sense to me because I, I, I don't ever want to have to explain to someone. What does that mean when I don't know what that means? It did come from my creation. So Neo Soul was just another person wanting to be a star. So they threw something together, and that's what I see. Yeah. But did, 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 did you feel like you were in a company of, of others who were on the same, uh, same vibe of that type of felt relaxed to be able to express themselves? I think them? that everybody that jumped on the bandwagon followed the lead of D'Angelo. Uh, including me. I followed his lead because once he opened the floodgates, I'm like, okay, this is very comfortable for me. So he and I started working together and started to create something that everybody wanted to shape their music up. They had a direction now. And now with the two of us working together, I'm sorry, the two of us working together to make sure this sound was, you know, authentic we stayed true to what we believed. So everybody else coming behind that was trying to mimic that. Yeah. Whether they was trying to do their own thing, I couldn't tell you that. It was too close to trying to keep up with what we were doing. Yeah. You know, one song that really inspired, that, 
which which is probably still needed, was their brother. Yeah, well, D'Angelo had nothing to do with that. No, 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 but it, because one of the things that was powerful, and your song, because one of the things that was powerful about it was um, sort of the recognition of, of Black men. And, mm-hmm. you know... It, well, it was said loud, I'm Black and I'm proud on the female side. It was that, there was that uh, um, barrage of energy that just kind of said, I'm glad that I'm Black. I'm proud to be Black. I want you to be empowered as a brother to know that because your blackness is your strength. Yeah, but but you know, you, I mean, you, it, when you think about what we what we experienced with George Floyd and the national, out, the worldwide outcry, but it, it, in, in, and in spite of that, we're still seeing these situations happening. One of the things that I thought, saw, and felt by your song was a sense of, you know, actually take a look at yourself and, and understand who you are, you're a king. And I think if you recognize who you are, the, the, it changes your mindset, changes your vocabulary, changes how mm-hmm. you, 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 your, your behavior. And, and, and that was such a, an inspirational track. Um, it's unfortunate we don't, we don't get more of those types of, of tracks that just elevate right. and lift us up as opposed to let's fight the power. But we just need to say, you know, you, 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 you're great. Right, my battery is look like it's going down. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, are you? Able to- I told you when I moved away from that <laughs> spot, I have to stay plugged in. But I tried to move around for you. But oh, okay. Are you? Do you have the extension, or do you want to wait? Uh- I don't have the extension where where it puts me in an awkward position. I have to charge my phone up some more. Okay. Um, uh, if you want to, we can reconvene in about thirty minutes. Yes, that... I would say let it charge up a little. Okay, so about five. Um, yeah, so it's five p.m. Eastern. What time is it there? It's nine thirty here in the UK. So it's still in ten an... o'clock. To ten o'clock, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll All wait right, for so you. We'll talk. I'm gonna. I'm gonna plug my phone on. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Half Time Chat community. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, But most importantly, why don't you consider being a member as a way of supporting the channel, but also getting a lot of videos ahead of time, a lot of behind the scenes stuff, and some exclusive content that doesn't get shared. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being part of Half Time Chat.